I actually want to test out the battle axe versus the crystal axe on uh, health cap here. So that's why we have it, which is something I never thought I would say that this battle axe kind of outperforms the e-tool than the actual like look at that yeah it's definitely keeping us alive longer a little bit better than the official wonder weapon of this map all right and welcome back guys in this video we're doing another pack a punch testing video this time on the 11th melee weapon added into cold war zombies that being the battle axe and if you're new to this series or this channel every time we do one of these pack a punch testing videos we take a brand new weapon in the cold war zombies test it out in low rounds medium rounds and high rounds pretty much test everything you want to know about this weapon here and i'm actually pretty excited to do this with the battle axe a lot of people told me this was going to be one of the hardest weapons in the game that it was the worst melee weapon and after using it with our dark ether in one game challenge honestly this is actually one of my favorite melee weapons no it's not the best in the entire game i'll tell you that but it's probably my third favorite and that's because of one of the unique properties it has that no other melee weapon in the entire game can do and whoosh, just like that we're now loaded into forsaken and the first thing you're to notice when you start using this weapon it is one of the slower swinging weapons in the game out of all the melee weapons it is pretty much right up there with the sledgehammer it takes forever so it's not gonna be fast at killing single zombies just because of how long it, it takes to swing this weapon and on top of that it also seems to be kind of buggy sometimes you'll aim directly at a zombie and you'll pretty much directly hit him with the axe and it just won't give you the kill and i think that's some sort of hit detection bug because this weapon actually has very little lunge and usually when weapons are usually when melee weapons have almost no lunge they're a lot more accurate but this has almost no lunge and it's also super inaccurate so it definitely has to be something with the hit detection of course it's not doing it right now of course we're talking about it and right now it is hitting every single zombie but if you've used this weapon if you use it in mp or use it in zombies you know exactly what i'm talking about the hit detection on this weapon is kind of broken so hopefully it gets fixed and if it does get fixed honestly this is going to be kind of one of the better weapons to spawn in with no like i said earlier it's not going to beat the e-tool it's not going to beat the size but i'm about to show you why i actually had a pretty fun time using this weapon in our dark ether in one game challenge if we come up here and let the zombies pile up oh and we swing as you saw there we just killed three zombies with one single swing this is the first melee weapon in the entire game that can kill more than one zombie with a swing every other melee weapon the max it can kill is one but this one you can sometimes kill two and sometimes you can kill three and look at that if we just keep coming back up here that right there was like 12 or 15 kills in that rapid period of time and uh yeah it's obviously not going to be that great for higher rounds but we were able to take this all the way to round 55 pretty much only using this weapon and it works pretty decently as long as you have something like frost blast where as soon as they get up frost blast them down and then just immediately start swinging and i'm really glad oh let's go turn off the rampage inducer before we record this next clip because i am going to end up dying all right there we go get this zombie here on top of actually having this unique ability it also looks amazing well that that's probably because i have the variant for it but i don't care this variant looks absolutely sick on top of you know the base variant actually looking cool uh, a battle axe is way more interesting than a cane than a mace than you know all the other stuff they've added and it's actually better in my opinion i would put this at the third best melee weapon because to be honest besides you know the e-tool and the psi there's really no reason to use any of the other melee weapons in the game why would you use the katana when you could just use the e-tool which does everything better than the katana even though the katana is great legitimately the e-tool does pretty much everything better except for some of the stuff the psi lets you do obviously the psi lets you jump farther and that's a unique ability but there's no reason to use anything that's besides that because let's be honest the mace the cane like the machete all those weapons pretty much feel the exact same because none of them have any sort of unique properties so if i had to rank the melee weapons right now number one would be kind of the, the psi and e-tool go back and forth some situations the size better some situations the e-tool better but this would be in third place for me this would be my third go-to melee weapon just because of the unique feature and it's definitely a fun to use because of that alone and i think if they fix the hit reg issue this honestly might be a pretty decent option for spawning in with just to be able to sit on top of some spot and knife three zombies at a single time. All right, one more head. It is very fun and very entertaining to take down the Margo doggy with the battle axe. Something about swinging this axe into the eye of the dog is dead. Oh, come on. He closed it. He closed it. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Wait for it. Oh, how did I miss? Oh, okay didn't have to destroy his eyes still got it and we're gonna go down to the zombie nope frost blast save us and armor nice 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 all right let's go ahead and lift down the lockdown and let's pack a punch it you know something i still haven't seen yet so this is what this variant looks like when pack a punched honestly that is super sick 
But let's put on the normal bat. Oh, apply blueprint. Try again, maybe. Oh, no, is it not going to? Oh, OK, cool. It's yep. Uh, well, I was going to say, let's see what the normal one looks like when you pack a punch it. But you can see right here, uh, the blueprint system is perfectly fine and there's no glitches in it and nothing's ever wrong with it, clearly. And you know what? While we're trying to get the wonder weapon, ooh, while we're trying to get the wonder weapon out of the box, that is a fantastic looking battle axe right there. This weapon's actually still usable on a decently high round. So we're on round 24 right now. We've got a purple tier battle axe. That's actually called Axe Me Again when you pack a punch it. And uh, prestige two, prestige two. Pack a punch level two. And yeah, you do have to jump down occasionally from this spot, but if you're using toxic growth and stuff like that, you can actually camp on this spot fairly well because you're, I mean, killing three of them at a time while you're swinging. I've been going back and forth between uh, Frost Blast and Toxic Growth. They both work pretty well. Frost Blast kind of works a little bit better once they get up top because the one thing about Toxic Growth is uh, if there's zombies down there already, you're going to have a hard time using it. Now, clearly using something, you know, like any sort of rocket launcher would do a little bit better. But this axe performs better than some of the bullet weapons up here. There are some bullet weapons right now that even being packed two would struggle a little bit in this spot. So that to me is fairly impressive that this melee weapon that most people consider to be one of the worst weapons in the game can actually hold up here on, I mean, not high rounds, but pretty medium rounds, even without being fully upgraded, where a lot of bullet weapons, well, some bullet weapons can't do it. And please, 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 there we go. That is the hardest it's taken me to get the Wonder Weapon in a while. I actually want to test out the Battle Axe versus the Crystal Axe on uh, Health Cap here. So that's why we have it. And that's going to be a fairly interesting test. Because I think there's going to be an actual decent comparison here. Because both of these are going to act a little bit differently. So now, now that we've got this one, it's going to help us get to a high round a little bit easier. But uh, I want to see what happens once this starts two hitting and turn zombie. So here we are on round 46. Now, this actually isn't the health cap of zombies. But for what we're testing, we're going to get the exact same results if we were on health cap. So what we can see here is zombies cap out at 60,000 health on round 55. And if we kill a zombie with an axe uh, right there. Oh, wait, that was 40. OK, hold on. One thing I forgot, you know, if, we're, if we want to do more damage, we should probably get it or uh, nope, no, 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 no. Thank you. All right, let's get some armor. And there we go. Now we have an orange tier axe. So if we hit this zombie, as you saw there, we did 600 or uh, 62,000 damage, which is 2,000 more damage than what zombies will have on round 100. Now, if oh, we got an insta kill. So let me wait for this to run out. OK, the insta kill has gone. So if we hit an enemy with the wonder weapon. As you can see there, this does 30,000 damage, which is not enough to one hit a zombie on health cap, let alone pass round 41. Pass round 41 with this wonder weapon is going to take two swings for normal zombies and a lot for elite zombies. So if we come up here with the wonder weapon, as you can see it. OK, yeah, it struggles pretty hard. This wonder weapon is amazing until you get past round 41. And then the melee version of it is it's not useless. It's really good if you're using a ring of fire. It's really good during an insta kill, but it's not that helpful at all for killing normal zombies past round 41, just because it's going to be taking two slices and you're going to get down pretty quickly because the zombies are also going to be coming after you relatively quick. All right, but here we go. We've now bought our perks back. Let's go ahead and head to the same area using the battle axe, which most people consider to be one of the single worst weapons in the entire game. And let's see how well this does up here. So one, we can put ammo mods on this. And yeah, it's not going to hold up here for long. But look at that. It honestly feels like it's doing just a little bit better than the actual. Like, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely keeping us alive longer, a little bit better than the official wonder weapon of this map, which I just think is an interesting comparison. The fact that this right here, this battle axe does more damage and can kill like more zombies per swing and kill up to three compared to the actual wonder weapon. Here's the wonder weapon in comparison. So yeah, that's kind of my full review for it. No, I'm not trying to say that this battle axe is super OP and one of the best weapons in the game. I just think people aren't giving it enough credit for what it can actually do. Because if used correctly in a jump up spot like this where the zombies are gonna have to jump up to get at you, I mean, you can kill three of them per swipe and it's actively working pretty well on round 47. So even past health cap, you can actually use this pretty efficiently, meaning this would be a not so bad round 100. It wouldn't be as easy as obviously, you know, the thumper or other weapons like that. But this might actually be better to getting to round 100 than the E-Tool just for the simple fact that you can slice three at a time as they're jumping up here and use Frost Blast on top of it, which is something I never thought I would say that this battle axe kind of outperforms the E-Tool in a certain aspect. Obviously, for general use, E-Tool is still way better. 
But yeah, with that, guys, we're actually going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Definitely let me know what your thoughts on the battle axe are. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of it, but I kind of have like, you know, a little appreciation for it after doing our Dark Aether in one game. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I want to take the last moment here to thank everyone who became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member and extra special thanks to those who've taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got Hunter Redondo, we've got the most OP gobblegum ever, Round Robin, and then we've got the true homie, Ryan the Slayer.